Hello friends, welcome. In today's video, I will discuss what is meant by directional stability of the ship, what are the factors which affect the directional stability of the ship, and how does the change in trim affect the directional stability. Let's get started. Directional stability is also called dynamical stability of the ship. It is tested during the sea trials. And what it means is, if a ship can move along a new straight course without using rudder after a small disturbance, that is considered a dynamically or directionally stable ship. In comparison to that, a dynamically unstable ship performs a turning circle with the rudder amidship. It is more difficult to handle a dynamically unstable ship. Let's try to understand it using this diagram. So you see this is the ship which was on its original path. And then there was a disturbance. The rudder was used. Later once the ship started turning, the rudder was put amidship. And then a stable ship would follow along this new course and go straight. As you can see further here on the right hand side. The top one is the stable ship and it's going straight on the new course. And if the ship is unstable, it's taking the path which is shown on the right hand side bottom one. And it's continuously maintaining a residual rate of turn. Thus, a dynamically unstable ship can only maintain a straight course by repeated use of rudder control. Here is a graph showing the same. Ship A, the stable ship was going along a course. Then there was a disturbance and it changed its course. And ship B as you can see was continuously altering the course. Until it reached a point because of the rudder amidship, it's now becoming stable. However, the ship C, which is the unstable ship, is continuously maintaining that ROT shown by the rising change of heading on the top ship C. Now let's go through the factors which affect the directional stability of a vessel. The directional stability increases with the depth of water, length of the ship and trim by stern. To remember it logically you can always think that with the increase in depth there are lesser forces which are acting on the ship. So ship tends to be more stable. With the increase in length of the ship, the hydrodynamic characteristics of the ship improves. So that's why directional stability improves with that. With the increase in trim, the pivot point tends to be a little closer to the midship. And it must be remembered that if the pivot point is very close to the stem of the ship, then the transverse thrust and other forces which are acting on the ship tend to make the ship more unstable directionally. Then the other factors are that directional stability reduces with the blockage factor for larger ships and when the cross-sectional area forward larger than the cross-sectional area after because the pivot point again moves forward. Now if we consider these three factors blockage factor, large vessel and cross-sectional area forward it basically means the closer a ship is to a box shaped vessel lesser is the directional stability and it's the same point in all these cases that the pivot point tends to be more forward thus any force which is acting on the ship in the aft like any force on the rudder or transverse thrust by the propeller would make the ship directionally unstable thus ships like car carriers and VLCCs which are more box shaped are lesser directionally stable in comparison with container ships and other ships which have similar profiles. Also you may note, ship by stern has better course keeping ability always. Ship by head is slow to start a swing and difficult to stop a swing. Also know that we have all heard and seen that in shallow waters, it is a bit difficult to maneuver the ship and that is because the directional stability is lost because in shallow waters a ship gets trimmed by head and thus loses its directional stability. I hope it was a useful video for you. If you have any feedback, suggestion or comment then please do write down below. I'll soon follow up with more terms which are related to the sea trials and explain them how it works. I wish you all the best for your exams and as always, thank you for watching.